Hello, in today's video we have a device that you might have seen quite often. So let's get down to business. Today we have the M5 Stick C Plus 2. The M5 Stick C Plus 2 is a compact prototyping platform from M5 Stack, designed for developing IoT projects and various electronic devices. Stick C Plus 2 includes all necessary components for quick developing and testing of device concepts, pen testing, software development and various forms of entertainment. Let's take a brief look at its history. Its name suggests that 6C already had several previous versions. In March 2019, the first device with this form factor, the M5 6C, was launched. Engineers at M5 managed to fill a display, an accelerometer, a gyroscope, an infrared transmitter, a groove port, battery, and all connected by an ESP32 microcontroller into a matchbox-sized case. By the way, Flipper Zero started its crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter in February 2020, almost a year after the launch of the M5 Stick C. Returning to the Stick C, the first version underwent many changes, and today's latest version, the Plus 2, features improved internals and slightly different visuals. So let's see what ended up inside this little device. At the heart of the device, is the ASP32 Pico V302 microcontroller. The last digit indicates the amount of PS RAM, pseudo-static RAM, specifically 2 MB. Additionally, it has 520 KB of static RAM, 8 MB of flash memory and 448 KB of ROM. You can currently see all the supported peripherals of the chip on the screen. Unlike the first model, the screen is larger, 135 by 240 pixels compared to 80 by 160. In the old model, there are three external buttons, conveniently used for navigation within applications. In the first model, there were only two, the MPU6886 3-axis gyroscope and accelerometer allow you to detect movement and acceleration of the device and its carrier in space. An infrared transmitter allows you to read signals or control TVs, air conditioners and more in the vicinity. For network interaction we have a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi antenna, a capacitive microphone SPM1423 with a wide frequency range covering from 100 Hz to 20 kilohertz. Real-time clock BMM8563 keeps track of date and time independently of main power supply, with an approximate deviation of 13 seconds per month at room temperature. It also includes a 200 milliamp battery and AXP192 chip for power management and charging. Compared to the first model, the battery capacity has doubled. A few words about appearance. Visually, it looks like some kind of toy, easily attracting attention of both adults and children. I really like their sticker design with maximum text per square millimeter. The color of the latest model is something between orange and yellow, making it easy to distinguish which version you're holding. Ergonomically, after using the computer, this device seems too small. It's quite difficult to press the side buttons due to the tiny surface area, which is a drawback. At the top there are 8 contacts allowing us to connect add-ons directly. These are called HAT and are quite expensive, however, nothing stops us from using any available modules and sensors on the market. We can also use common peripherals through the groove connector on the other side of the comp. Currently I have a GPS module and RF2 module, whose functionality I've tested, and I'll release another video showing how they work. The firmware loading algorithm. To load firmware onto the stick, you need to use the M5 burning tool software. In the left menu, we select stick C. We must check the version of our stick C. In this case, it's the plus 2 version and download the corresponding firmware. There is also my favorite M5 launcher, which allows you to update firmwares over the year without connecting a cable. This is very convenient. On the M5 website, you will find documentation that will help you work with built-in modules, as well as examples on GitHub, based on which you can adapt them for your tasks. 
Additionally, with the M5 launcher apps, you can go to the apps page on GitHub, where you can also familiarize yourself with other developers' approaches, which will greatly assist you in gaining the necessary experience. Who is this device for? Pen testers. The device has great potential for pen testing, but you'll need to add various accessories. Out of the box, you will be mainly able to mess with Wi-Fi networks and play with devices that have infrared control ports. In general, ESP32 Pico positioned itself as microcontroller for developing IoT devices, smart home systems, automation, health monitoring systems, smart agriculture, robotics, and much more, a vast field for technical creativity. The M5 Stick C Plus 2 is an excellent compact device at a good price. If you want to purchase one, please use the link in the description. I believe these kinds of gadgets like Flipper Zero, Card Pewter and Stick C attract attention to the hobby of embedded development, creating something new, immersion in programming and continue and enhance the contribution made by Arduino in promoting technical hobbies. In future videos, we will explore practical applications for Stick C, create our own application for it and look at how to connect modules and sensors from third-party manufacturers. So please subscribe to this channel, by the way, my name is Arthur, and see you in the next video.